you ever gotten out to the range and that first drill on the clock, you just absolutely blaze it on the shot timer? And that is the day you think you're gonna be out there and you're just gonna blaze down that shot timer all day and it's gonna be the one you get to brag about to your buddies and it's all on camera so they can't deny it. And you're feeling yourself and then all of a sudden you get a couple of these. I guess that's just what happens, right? Part of life. But uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't really put those in their videos, but I love it because one, it's humbling. Two, it just lets me know when I need to slow down and do some practice because if you change pistols all the time or you change magazine, especially with extensions and different lengths, that can cause some issues. And we're gonna talk more about that in just a little bit. But before we get into the Beretta APX A1 Tactical here, the topic of today's video, you gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsor and that is Tac Pack. They are a monthly subscription box. You could get everything from tools, small parts for your builds, camping, hunting gear, all the outdoor stuff you could want. You might even get a coffee cup. The one thing I can assure you're gonna get is a pretty crazy sticker with that box every month. You wanna check them out at techpack.com. Use code TC to get yourself a free tactical gift after that first month. Let's dive right into the performance on the APX A1 Tactical. So overall, this thing has a good feel in the hand, but when you get it out on the range, it completely opens up and feels like a different pistol in a very good way. It will have a less aggressive grip angle than other things in the market like Glocks. And the overall ergonomics of this pistol just flat out works for me and helps me run a little flatter and a little faster. If you are into less aggressive, more neutral angles, this is definitely gonna be one that will fit your style. The grip texture on the front and the back strap, awesome. Absolutely aggressive, yet not abrasive really do help you control that recoil. And then you've got sandpaper style texture all the way around the rest of that grip and up front on the frame to help you mitigate recoil as well. I also found out there the takedown lever I could use on my offhand thumb, just like a ledge, almost like those gas pedals. Dive into that thing a little bit and really help mitigate the recoil a little bit more than normal. The action on this one was smooth out there on the range and it just seems from aiming to firing, it was just effortless with the angles and the ergonomics and the way it cycled out there, even when doing those faster courses of fire or transition from target to target. Even though the slide may look a little bit chunky, it's actually really low bore axis and the recoil is very easily controllable. The controls on this pistol just seem to be in the right spot and very easy to use and operate. Although I did have a few of those flubs on the reloads, but that's for another reason we're gonna talk about in a few minutes. Now for the testing, I ran 115, 124 grain critical defense and duty ammo through here. All of it ran 100%, which is pretty much what I would expect having tested an APX standard model previously. The overall feel, fit and finish of the APX A1 was just great out on the range. Uh, we will do a little bit more talking about that trigger and get up close and personal with it, but I'll have all the stuff that you guys see here today listed down below so you can do your own research and pick anything up if you guys are interested. We'll be at the build list. And if you dig content like this, and you like what's going on here, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, now quickly before we go over all of the specs on the APX A1 Tactical here from Beretta, remember when I talked about changing from different mag lengths and different pistols all the time. Now, where this can become an issue is obviously the angles of the pistol and your grip, right? So you might print a little high, you might print a little low, it just might not fit your hand right. But for me, I find that when I'm going from standard size mags to these big extended ones, as I acquire them from my belt and I come in to do the reload, I'm usually a little bit off, right? So I could be like a little bit like that, or maybe I just hit it completely wrong. And that has to do with how much length you're adding. So you're literally adding another inch of length on your mag. So when you go to do that exchange, you might not have the arc of the pistol right, or your mag might not have turned up all the way. And you kind of hit that grip a little bit different. So. I know this because it happens to me all the time when I'm testing different pistols with different length magazines. So if you are a person that changes guns or mags or adds accessories like extensions, something that adds another inch onto a magazine is going to have an impact on your exchanges. So if you're carrying a new pistol or you're adding a new part, always proof it, always test it, and then always do some really good dry fire practice with that 
Because if you don't in real life, you might make a mistake you can't recover from. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the specs. So obviously this is a polymer striker fired nine millimeter. Now the tactical model does come much more equipped than the standard APX model. You're gonna get a threaded barrel. You're gonna get taller sights to use with your optic. It is obviously optic ready. You're going to get three 21 round magazines and Beretta, I love you for this, especially at the price point, giving us three big sticks. It's gotta have a great texture all the way around it. Front strap, back strap, sides, up on the front of the frame, good to go. Your trigger guard has a double undercut on it, which helps you get a high grip and mitigate recoil. Plenty of pick rail for all your attachment needs. It is a chassis system design. That means you can pull the whole fire control unit out and put it in a new module, whether you want a different color, whether you got some damage on your original one, and they're only about 48 or 50 bucks. You're gonna have an ambidextrous slide stop slide release, a reversible magazine release, great serrations front and rear to work that slide and you're going to have that half by 28 standard barrel threading so you can use your comp or suppressor that you already have overall this is an absolutely great performing pistol with all of the options a lot of us standardly upgrade when it comes to an optic ready pistol coming in at 499 bucks as of today to filming this video all right, we're going to quickly take a up close look here at the trigger on the APX A1. It is a curved design. The trigger shoe safety does go sub flush, so it actually has a really good feel to it when you engage your finger on the trigger shoe and the trigger shoe safety. It's a little bit more of a wider bodied trigger shoe than some other stuff, and it's nicely kind of chamfered on the edges and like radiused off very, very well. And it's actually got a kind of integrated over travel stop. You can just barely see at the bottom right there. So after we pull the trigger, you won't go too far. So that's your take up. There's a little bit of creep here and then a break. There's your reset. It's both very tactile and audible. Good, hard, solid wall. Couple, maybe two, three millimeters of creep and that break and reset. So let's go ahead. We'll do a couple of trigger pulls here. Do three actually, and as long as everything turns out good and I don't uh, mess it up, we will go with what we got. Okay, so that one was six pounds and 14 ounces. Now it does feel a little heavier to me, but it does not feel quite that heavy. So let me get a little lower on that trigger shoe. All right, six pounds and 12 ounces. We'll do that one more time. And that one went down to three. That's a little weird. We're gonna do a fourth here and see what we get. Okay, that one went down to 4.6. So we're gonna take that and our average is five pounds, eight ounces. So overall, not bad, it is a little heavier than some others. It feels about five and a half to me, but that's what you get on the gauge for the APX A1. All right, so it fires good and it comes in at a great price on how it's equipped. Now, did I have any issues with the APX A1 Tactical? And I did have one. Um, this is a loner, it's got a lot of miles on it. So the magazine springs were a little bit weak when I got this thing in and I had a couple things where when I would fire that last round, it would just barely lock. So when I would either drop the mag or put the new one in, the slide would go forward or it actually overrode the follower a couple times because the spring was a little weak. That happens once you get a lot of rounds on a gun, those magazine springs eventually do die over time. So this isn't really the most preferred way to do it. I just pulled them apart, stretched the string out and I didn't have another issue. That was a hasty range fix, okay? When your mag springs go bad, you need to buy new ones. Uh, they are tempered, they are set, you need to replace the old ones. But if you are on the range and it's like, I need to do this right now, you can give them a stretch, but that is not a long-term solution. Other than that, that was the only issue I had and it ran 100% after correcting that issue. My final thoughts here on the APX A1 Tactical is that it seems to be an exceptional value for what you get directly out of the box from the manufacturer. It's got a good feel, ran 100% reliable. Overall, the recoil is easy. The trigger is okay. It's your average polymer striker fired trigger for the market today. 
but out on the range performed like a beast. And again, since it is a chassis design, you can get different grip modules for it, whether it's colors or you want to have a different texture pattern laid on it for stippling. All that stuff's there and they're like dirt cheap to get like 47 or 50 bucks or something like that, which overall is very solid. Well, that's what I've got for you all today on the Beretta APX A1 Tactical. I am really curious to know your thoughts on this series of pistols down below because I slept on these for a while and waited a very long time. The audience talked me into it. A couple of friends talked me into it and I get it now. I understand why so many people like it because it really does run great out on the range. Make sure you get subbed up to the channel. Keep doing it out on the range. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.